Hey Kelly, here's that uh, 350 dually I was talking about. So I was just talking to the guys inside. This is the last one we have, and it, this will be the last one that we have for quite a while, they're saying, probably for at least two to three months. So I'm gonna go around it real quick for you. So like I said, this is an XLT. So it's a little step up from uh, the normal ones that we get. We get a lot of XLs in here that are white. So as an XLT, it'll have nicer stuff on it. So it's got fog lights on it. It's got the LED uh, lights on the front. It's got the long bed with the fifth wheel and gooseneck setup. It's got the larger hitch on the back. It's got the step up bars on the corners. And then toward the front here, there's ones right here as well. It does have the uh, side rails on it as well. And these are all aluminum, so the bodies don't rust like older trucks do. Key fob looks like this. It does have remote start on the key fob. And there's an app that you download on your phone. It's free. It's called Ford Pass. And that'll let you like unlock it, lock it, remote start it, see where the truck's at at all times. You can see the fuel level, all that kind of stuff. So this has the uh, dark slate colored interior with the console set up in the center instead of the fold down seat which I prefer this, honestly, I think it looks better. You got cup holders back there, up here. Um, it does have some power points here, 3C USB. You got a conventional wall outlet, and then a 12 volt right here. This one does have the screen on it and a 360 camera. So I'm gonna start her up real quick. <laughs> it's a diesel, so you gotta let it, you know, warm up for a second. So this one just got back from the Quarter Horse Congress. I think that's why it didn't go on the website. It does have power seats here. So those are power seats. Um, you can make the mirrors go out farther, bring them in closer, and it does have power folding mirrors. That one had to go out first before they all go in. So as you can see, power folding and extending mirrors, which is what you get on the XLT. Um, automatic headlights, fog lights, it's got lights on the end of the mirrors here too, and there's cameras on the end of the mirror here, so I'm going to pull these back out so when I turn on the 360 camera you can see what I'm talking about. So push this button here. So it gives you the rear view display, and then the 360 camera view display, and then you can change the camera view as well. So there's all different kinds of views that you can go into, so say if you're hooking up to a, a ball, that points it right down so you can see the ball and get on connect to it easily um, if you have a trailer connected that has a camera you can plug it in to where you can see behind the trailer too that's for the fifth wheel gooseneck so it's got pretty cool camera views and then when you put it in reverse it has the uh, lines to help you you know reverse it does have pro trailer assist so this is like a mini steering wheel. So instead of having to steer backwards when you have something connected like a trailer, you can just use this as a steering wheel. So if you want your trailer to go to the left, you just do that, go to the right. Instead of having to steer reverse, it just makes it easier. It already has a trailer brake controller. You can change the drive modes and you know, between two, four high, four low. This will have lane centering. So if you're on long drives, you can turn on that lane centering and that'll help keep you inside the lines. And then the cool thing about this screen too is it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So even though it doesn't have navigation built in, you can, once your phone's paired to it wirelessly, you have navigation up on the screen using Google Maps or Waze or whatever app you like to use. And that's free. The Android Auto and Apple CarPlay doesn't cost extra or anything like that. So it's a good way, like I had my car purposely not built with navigation built in to save some money because I'm always using my, my cell phone's always with me, you know, so I get navigation through there for free. Um, let's see, it's got a top cubby up here, a bottom glove box right here. We'll have the owner's manual and all that stuff in there. Uh, it does have a power sliding rear window. 
it's got upfitter switches right here so if you want to get crazy and do some like light bars or a winch or something on the front or a plow or something like that you can wire up to that it also has a little camera inside here so it's paying attention so if you start falling asleep at the wheel it's called the uh, driver alert so if you go to driver assistance here so it does have lane keeping like I said pre-collision assist so it'll apply the brakes for you if you're about to hit something um, blind spot monitoring so on the mirrors they'll light up if there's someone next to you trailer side view So when the turn signal is on, shows the corresponding area alongside the vehicle. So if you have that turned on, when you turn your right turn signal on, it's going to show on the camera your the, the right-hand side of your vehicle. It does have parking sensors, front and rear. So as you get close to things, it'll beep at you. Cross-traffic alert. As you're backing out and something's coming and you can't see it, it'll beep at you to let you know. And then the driver alert. So if you're falling asleep at the wheel, it pays attention to you and it'll try to wake you up and slow down the vehicle which is all cool safety features you know um let's see as far as audio goes you should have am fm and bluetooth on this uh let's see you've got a locking center glove box right here it's pretty big you get a lot of stuff in there it's got some power points in there as well I'm going to show you the back real quick. And so the price of this one's 75k. The cabin chassis by itself is 69605 and I was just uh, and I'll take a separate video of the cabin chassis and I got a brochure that shows the pricing of the uh, like the aluminum bed or you can get a steel bed if you don't want aluminum. But the aluminum ones are about which is cheaper I guess than the steel ones. The aluminum ones are around 8 to 9000 dollars and it goes up so that was for like a 9 to 10 foot one, I believe. So if you want to get a longer one, like 11 foot or something, should be a little bit more. So it probably would be cheaper to do this and add a toolbox at to the back than doing the, uh, you know, uh, cabin chassis with the flatbed. It's got all the stuff back here. Even comes with like a car bra for the front if you want to keep the front nice. This is for like when you have a trailer connected. It does have the nice rubber mats already with it. So those will go down if you buy the car. Um, these seats do fold up. Here, it's hard to do with one hand. But they fold up. Hold on, I gotta unclip this seat. Belts here. So that folds up to give you a lot of space back here if you need it. Both sides fold up as well. So lots of space back here. You can keep lots of stuff back here if you want to keep it inside and not get rained on or something like that. Uh, as far as the bed goes, it does come with the cleats. These little tie down, the black uh, tie down things. Um, it has LED box lighting. So there's a switch back here. Right here, you push that and the lights turn on and off. So it's nice in the, you know, when it's dark out. There's even a, uh, you can plug in stuff. I think that's a 220 volt or something like that. Like the big dryer plug kind. To plug in stuff back there. Um, it's got a camera right here. A light back here. And that's with the bed down. Even comes with like a little bottle opener and stuff. So like I said, this one, here I'll show you the window sticker, and it has like passcode too, so you can get in and out by using uh, passcode instead of having the key. Uh, let's see, anything else? In oh, here's the window sticker. So 75260, here's all the stuff that's on it. Lots of, so all of this is optional stuff that was added on to it to make it nicer. Like the 360 camera package, dual battery, remote start system, reverse sensing system, LED box lighting, 
uh, blind spot monitoring, fifth wheel, hitch prep package, tow tech package, snow plow prep camper package, power sliding rear window, uh, rapid heat supplemental heater, all weather mats, the 355 ratio axle, and 10 speed auto torque shift is the transmission and with the 67 power stroke diesel which those 67 power strokes are pretty awesome engines you can get lots of miles out of those so that would be a good choice uh, I'm gonna send you a separate video with the cabin chassis stuff but just so you can see real quick got a brochure here let me get something to set this on so we can see it a little better so if we're looking here so and he's saying it should be about four to eight weeks to get one put on but it's aluminum flatbed just like that with some toolboxes already included and he gave me an example so this was one that a guy just got done on a cabin chassis he just put this uh, flatbed on the back and it ran 79.35 is what they had to pay to do that and there's a different one called so there's big country free country there are two different kinds there I believe the free country is a little bit more and you can do it in seven foot eight point six nine foot or eleven foot and those are the widths right there so you can do the different widths and lengths as far as the bed goes um, so like I said I'm gonna t send you a separate video with the cabin chassis you got my number, 614-502-7621. Thanks.